I get a lot of questions about how do you create your Bitmoji. So I'm going to walk you through features of the Bitmoji app and show you a couple things and a couple tips and tricks as you create your Bitmoji. I'm actually in the Bitmoji app here, as you can see. And once you create your Bitmoji, it's going to automatically create all these awesome stickers. But I did want to point out there's three different types. So I often have people ask me, well, which one do you use and why do you choose that one? So this is the Bitmoji Deluxe, really cool hairstyles and you can have cut hair treatments. So a lot of people choose the Bitmoji Deluxe. There are a few people that use the Bitmoji Moji Classic. To me, it definitely looks more cartoon-like versus um, more realistic. And then the third and actually original version is the bit strips. And I prefer bit strips. And so you can always go in and change the style of your, your Bitmoji inside of the application by choosing that settings wheel. When you get started, you'll notice that there's all of these options where you start with either from scratch or you can actually take a selfie and then you can kind of modify it. And as you can see, you start with your your skin tone so you can search through find the correct skin tone and hair as I pointed out you have a little bit more options in the Bitmoji Deluxe with your hair treatment options because it's only solid color hair versus on the Bitmoji Deluxe you do have the ability of having like purple and pink and green hair and I've seen some amazing hairstyles done in the Bitmoji Deluxe but uh, for hairstyle the better option for me is in this one and I think this one looks very realistic I've been often told uh, that I look a lot like my Bitmoji or I like to call her Moji. I've even had people say they recognize me from my cartoon. So you are going to select your um, hair color based on your hairstyle. It's going to give you that option for hair treatment or not. Then we're going to pick our eye shape. Um, now one of the things I've, I would tell you is that a lot of people say, hey, I'm not quite sure. If you can have somebody else create your Bitmoji looking at you, that's beneficial. I've probably created a hundred plus people's Bitmojis because we often see ourselves a lot different than we actually look like. We might be wishful thinking on some features. I can choose my eyelashes, pupil size. I personally like when it's filled and I also prefer the one down here that has that kind of a sparkle to it. To me, it makes it look more natural and more realistic. Choosing our eyebrows. Then we're looking at nose. And again, that's another physical feature that a lot of people struggle with because they're like, well, my nose isn't that wide or it's wide or so forth. Next up is glasses. I will say that the Bitmoji Deluxe gives you a few more options with glasses. You can have multiple color glasses. Here you don't have as many options, but I'm okay with that. But as you can see, you can get real creative. So next up, we're going to look at jaw. So you're going to think about the, the shape of your face. Do you have a distinct jawline? Do you have a wider or thinner? Are your eyes closer together? So you're going to, you're going to scroll through here and, and look at a few options. Um, next up, you're going to choose mouth. Do you have larger lips or smaller lips? No lips. <laughs> Uh, when I say no lips, it's some people have a very thin lip line. Next up, we're going to have ears. So you're going to choose that. Next up, uh, you have the option of adding in some facial features. I always tell everyone that my uh, Genmoji is timeless and ageless. So therefore, I do not add any wrinkles. But you might want to add in your face lines. It definitely does age you a little bit. They also have forehead lines. Um, technically, I should probably have quite a few of those. But I have not added those in. But you can. But the other thing is that they also add in eye lines as well. So you can add those uh, features. And then they have jewelry. Only have two options. Kind of a bummer as I wear multiple earrings and I would like to have more options. You're going to choose that. Next up, you can add in headwear, uh, your body type. And last but not least, we're into picking your outfits. So you'll notice that there are ready-made outfits inside of Bitmoji. So they just released the new Jordan outfits. Since it's Halloween, we've got uh, coming up, we've got Halloween costumes. And they've even got the new Ralph Lauren options. So new arrivals are going to show up here, Bitmoji fashion. So these are ready-made outfits. So you just grab it. But the other cool thing is is that you can go in here and you can select t-shirts and you can choose the t-shirts that are available um, which is great so they've got some new vote t-shirts pride black lives matter so they've got some uh, great shirt options so i can pick my t-shirts i can even pick the color that i want for that t-shirt i can go in here and i can choose the bottoms so that means i can choose jeans or shorts or whatever you want for your pants and you can even pick the colors as you can see here the color choices as well this is what's great is now you can pick your shoes <laughs> this is awesome these are the brand new air jordans that are available pretty cool but notice I've got tennis shoes, I got boots, sandals or whatever. Um, I do kind of love that you could rock the bunny slippers since you might be working from home right now. In addition to that, I can choose outerwear. So I can choose jackets. I can choose the colors there as well. This is what's neat is the new feature here is the closet, which means it's going to remember every outfit that I've picked and I can go back to it. So like if you put together a combination that you like, you can go back and very easily change it. Now, if you're using your Bitmoji and you want to link it with Snapchat to be able to have a 3D avatar, I will point out that only these ready-made off 
off the hanger options, these options here for outfits will appear and not all of them will appear. So you have to choose one of those. You can't use one of your custom ones right there. So once you're done with all of this and I've picked my outfit that I want, I'm just gonna click save. I'm good to go. The other pieces you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna turn on your keyboard. So depending on the mobile device that you're using, you're gonna wanna set that up so that you can use it in iMessage. In addition to that, you can see all your uh, stickers here. So you can actually search for them. So if I'm gonna look for one that is for school, notice I can do that here. I can select one. So for example, I can go in here and I can, I'm in an iPhone here, so I can airdrop it. I can use a messenger. I can mail it. I can tweet it out. I can save my image. Now I would like to point out that when you go to save an image inside of the app and it saves it to your local camera, it saves it as a JPEG. So my little hack is that I actually choose to do this. If I'm going to save a Bitmoji that I really like, I'm going to use Google Keep. So I'm going to open up my Google Keep. This is where I save all of my Genmojis. So I'm going to go into a note and I'm actually going to go to my messenger. I'm going to choose the Bitmoji option and I'm going to search here again. And notice What's interesting is sometimes I searched school before in the app. It does not pull up all of them. So sometimes you have to go here and I can find all of them. So notice I've got way more options for school. I love the new science one, all of that. So I could choose any of those. And what I'm going to want to do, like this is so cool, the science scientist one. And I'm going to paste it here. And when I do that, it pastes it into my little collection here. And I'm in dark mode. So right now it looks like there's a white background, but there's not. This is actually a PNG right now. So what I would do is I would select this here and I'm going to see notice how there's no background and I would send it and save it as an image. Now, now by doing that, it's a PNG that I can easily add. So if I'm wanting to add to Google Slides, so I'm going to open up this untitled presentation here. And what I can do is I can go in here and I want to add to it. So I can do plus text and now I can go here and I can go to my Bitmoji and I can search for the one I want. So I'm going to do school again. When I search school, if I'm really loving this math one, I can do that and I can paste it. And now it's been added and I can actually resize it. And now that it's been added to that presentation, it's in, a, it's in the PNG format and it's very easy for me to add it here on my mobile device. The advantage of doing that again is it's adding it as a PNG because I'm bringing it straight in the Google Slides and also for some reason sometimes searching on the Chrome browser doesn't actually it doesn't show all of your options. I'd love to see how your Bitmoji turns out and let me know give me a thumbs up if you found this beneficial walking through the process of designing your Bitmoji. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.